Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. So it has been requested for me to do a video talking about where I get my jewelry. You guys love all my rings and stuff, especially if you're coming from my ASMR channel. I'm sure you guys like the sound of all the rings. So I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my favorite pieces. I couldn't do a full jewelry collection just because I don't have my full jewelry collection at my place in Kingston. It's kind of split up between my place at home, like at my parents and here in Kingston. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of my favorite pieces and talk about some of my favorite places to get my jewelry. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. If you're wondering where this top is from, it is a corset top from For Love and Lemons. It is so gorgeous. We're feeling really um, Rapunzel-like today. I'm going to start off with the jewelry I'm wearing. I'm also sorry if you can hear the neighbors in the background. You guys know this place is just made out of cardboard. So I'll start off with my rings because I think that's the thing you guys are usually most excited about. So this ring I actually got at a local fair so I actually don't have the name of that boutique unfortunately because it was just a little pop-up stand. But these two rings are from Pandora. That's a really you know, classic, easy place to go and get rings, especially if you don't know your ring size because you can go into a Pandora store and see what size you actually are. I recently collabed with Hey Harper on my ASMR channel and they really spoiled me. They sent me so many rings and Hey Harper actually has waterproof jewelry. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything. So I always wear all my jewelry, like in the shower, swimming, all the time i don't necessarily recommend that but at least with the hay harper stuff you know you can because it's made to be waterproof and it even says you can wear it like in the bath or anything so first up we have this ring from hay harper this is like i think the ruby ring um and then i also have this one from hay harper that i'm wearing right now this one is their north north stone ring north ring then we have these little baguette rings from Hey Harper. I have this one that's just a clear like diamond look. And then these ones are little blue gems underneath here. So I recommend Hey Harper for rings um, because they are waterproof. And if you're someone like me who's way too lazy to take off their jewelry before showering and all of that stuff then that's a great option you can also go to winners if you are looking for jewelry i get a lot of my jewelry from winners especially when i was just starting out on growing my collection and i could only spend like 20 dollars on a ring um i would get a lot of them from there mind you they don't last as long but again at least you can try it on and if you're someone who prefers like brick and mortar shopping to online shopping then i recommend winners so this one I actually got from Winners and it is, I think 10 karat or 14 karat gold. It was only just over a hundred. Like I'm saying only because gold rings can cost like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know? So I thought it was a pretty good price, especially for at Winners. And I do like um, gold jewelry, you know, like the 14 karat, 10 karat, because you know, it's just gonna last really, really long. Like the longest out of all of your plated and filled, at least in my experience. But if you know other stats on that, then you can definitely leave it in the comments of which gold lasts the longest. Okay, and then I also have a couple family rings. So this one I actually got from my mom and she got me this ring when I actually got my first period. So um, that was kind of her thing that she really wanted to do for me was when I know became a woman or whatever she got me a ring so that's my one with her and this set one I've actually had for a really long time so long that it actually snapped in half and I went and got it repaired but it looks good as new and then I also have this one which has been it was my mom so it's like in the family but it's really cute it's engraved and says I love you and it used to be hers so I have that one as well so those are all my rings that I wear every day. I am growing quite the collection and eventually I wanna have rings on every single finger. I mean, I'm not even married and I still wear one on my ring finger. I just, I love rings. I love when it, like, you just look decked out in jewelry. It's my favorite thing. 
so i always have a bunch of rings and i like collecting them you guys know that plus they make really good sounds for asmr now we can move on to bracelets so this is my charm bracelet that i wear every day this one is from local eclectic which is an online website but they do have an instagram so i follow them on there and they have really really cool stuff i will say it is a bit more expensive some of their pieces but it is well worth it and then i have the matching charm necklace with my long hair on it <laughs> sorry about that i don't usually wear this one just because i'm already noticing that my charm bracelet is starting to like wear off the it's not gold anymore on the back of the charms so this necklace is in like pristine condition because I've only worn it once or twice for a video. Um, but I do like it. If I were to wear it, I would mostly wear it like in the summer because it has all of the bright colors. Okay, and now I have a few pieces from a Second Life Boutique. So this is one of them. This is just a chunky a gold bracelet. I wear this one all the time. It came in a matching set with a Louis Vuitton um, locket necklace. So I love Second Life Boutique because what they do is they take designer charms from like old bags, old shoes, really, you know, any vintage items that are designer and they turn them into stunning jewelry pieces. I got this necklace and this one that I'll show you for Christmas a few years ago from Second Life Boutique and I love them. I get so many compliments on them. And I love that it's like repurposing um, old pieces. And I mean, you know, it's it's a Chanel necklace. Like I would otherwise never be able to afford a Chanel necklace, nor would I ever feel comfortable asking for one for Christmas. But these ones I think were around the $150 range, $100 range. Don't get me wrong, expensive, but not you're not paying like $900 for a Chanel necklace or $1,000. This one's really pretty. It almost looks like a little locket and it does up in the front, which I prefer because I have long nails. So I struggle with clasps a lot. But yeah, that's this one. And then the other piece that I have from Second Life Boutique that's a favorite I want to show you guys is this pearl um, chain with the Chanel logo here. So, so gorgeous. I've used both of these in a ton of role plays on my ASMR channel, so you probably recognize them. I have this that I'm wearing. This is a little wish bracelet, so you can write a wish and keep it in here. I don't know where this is from because my mom got it for me for Christmas, but I think you can just find them on like Amazon. I actually like kind of roll down my pants a little bit so you can see, but every day I wear this um, little like belly chain. It has these opalescent looking beads. It's really cute. I wear it now every day. I never used to, but I am obsessed with it. And that one is from the Curated Lobe. So the Curated Lobe is actually a local place in Oakville, and it is where I got all of my ear piercings done. Ignore this one because it has a little piercing bubble right now. It's a little bit infected. Don't worry. I'm fixing it. I'm working on it. But I got all of my piercings done there and all of the jewelry that you see in my ears right now is from the Curated Lobe. Um, I'll have the information for this stuff in the description box, but if you live in the GTA and you're looking to get your ears pierced, nose pierced, whatever, check out the Curated Lobe. It is these two girls who run it, these two really sweet moms, and it is so affordable. I got um six ear piercings including my double helix for i want to say 250 dollars including the jewelry when i first got them pierced for my birthday i know someone who went and got their their double helix done in hamilton and it cost them 200 dollars alone just for their double helix and i got six piercings plus the jewelry so check them out um, and they have really cool pieces too. Like they make all of this stuff themselves. So you have this, um, what are these called? Like carabiner chains or something. And then I have this one. This one is the most expensive piece that I have from them because it's a solid gold chain, but I don't plan on taking it out because it's in my double helix. Then I have my aquamarine stones, which is my birthstone. And then they make these really gorgeous threader earrings with charms. So I have, I think this is a moonstone charm 
and then a little butterfly there plus my little aquamarines. So super gorgeous. Um, if you have a bunch of ear piercings, you can check them out because you can buy their stuff online. Or if you live in the GTA, you can go there and book a consultation to get like a full um, ear styling done or piercings in general. Okay, now the necklace that I'm currently wearing is from Eclaté. I worked with them a while ago, but I wear this one almost every day. It's one of my favorites. It's like little pearls and then it has some little bars of gold. You guys know by now I love wearing gold. I don't really wear silver anymore. So I really like this one and it has held up really nicely again because I like shower and do everything in it. So gorgeous. Check out Eclaté as well. I've already mentioned a ton of jewelry brands that I shop at. We have Hey Harper, Local Eclectic, Eclaté, um, Pandora, Second Life Boutique, The Curated Lobe. I think that's all like winners. Like I've already mentioned all of those, but I still have more. First up, we have my watch. I wear this mostly every day and it looks gorgeous. Although I do take this off in the shower. And this is from Sandre. I got this as a Christmas gift and it is so pretty. And if you are someone who has really tiny wrists like me, this one is a stretchy band and it doesn't get caught on your wrist hairs or anything. It's super comfortable. I love the way this looks and I get compliments on this one all the time. Like even guys are all like, where'd you get your watch? I love your watch. So I feel like that's how you know it. it's, it's a good looking watch. Okay, now I also work with this brand a lot on my YouTube channel. They are Hey Happiness. I work with a lot of jewelry brands because I mean, I love jewelry and you guys love the jewelry boutiques, all of that on my ASMR channel. But these are from Hey Happiness and they plant a tree for every item sold. So I highly recommend them, but I always get compliments on these chain earrings. I don't wear them right now because I have this whole set going on, but people love these when I wear them. Like I get so many compliments on them and they are so comfortable. I can sleep in these and everything because they, I guess malleable isn't the right word, but they're comfy, like it's not like a hoop, you know? So check out Hey Happiness. They have a ton of stuff. Like most of my Hey Happiness jewelry is at home at my parents' house, um, but I have a ton of their earrings and necklaces. Like I have um, the anklet that I'm wearing right now is from Hey Happiness. So ton of stuff and I love that they plant a tree for every item sold. Now I purchased a bunch of stuff a while back from Nadare and & Co and they have some really unique items as well. This one for example I'll show you. This is a locket looking necklace so clasped in the front again really easy and you have the little locket and the chain with the little key that dangles down. This one is more of a statement piece. I don't wear it too often because I have really sensitive skin. Like you guys can probably see I am breaking out a little bit on my chest. And so if I wear thick necklaces like this for even like two days, um, I will break out really bad. I just, my chest does not like jewelry on it. This one is kind of okay because it sits a bit higher, but anything that sits low, I'll break out really bad from. Really good quality, like the chain, it's heavy. It feels like good quality. And so far it still looks like in pristine gold condition. It's gorgeous. I thought I had all my Ana Luisa stuff at home, but I actually do have one pair of earrings here in Kingston, so. These are what they look like. They give me very much like Mary Antoinette coquette vibes with the little pink like watercolor design. They're really gorgeous. They look really nice too when you wear them and they're really comfortable. I really like backings that go like this. It's almost like a stud. Check out Ana Luisa as well. They are a carbon neutral company. So if I had to recommend any jewelry brands to you guys, I feel like my top ones would be Ana Luisa because they're a carbon neutral company and their sourcing for gems is really sustainable. Um, and also Hey Happiness because they plant a tree for every item sold. We love the aspect with the environment for those ones. Now, otherwise, all the other brands I mentioned have gorgeous pieces, obviously, because I wear them all the time. So you have Hey Harper for waterproof jewelry, Second Life Boutique for vintage designer pieces, 
local eclectic does some have some sustainable pieces as well um what else did i mention the curated lobe for all your earring needs pandora is just like a classic winners is an easy one um i think that's a, oh sandre for watches yeah i feel like that's a good good list for you guys so i hope that you enjoyed um seeing some of my favorite jewelry pieces and hopefully you found out a couple new brands that you'll want to check out i thought that this was a good time to share this video because you guys might be starting to think of gifts for people for christmas or think of what you want to ask for for christmas and i think that these pieces are gorgeous so definitely add them to your christmas wish list if you can i hope you enjoyed this video was highly requested um, if you have any other requests, then leave them in the comments down below. I love you all so much and I have to go head to class now. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.